Who's your commander? Good luck. Equip. Move to combat. Resolves. Okay. Now, before you attack Does anyone have an answer? Well played. Good game. Hello everyone, my name is DJ. This is the Jumbo Commander YouTube channel and the future of card draw is here. New Capenna has changed how we draw cards in Commander because now we can draw them when playing the color white. Let's take a look at all of these white cards that draw cards and evaluate them. Now, there are some normal ways that white has drawn cards or gained card advantage in the past that also exist in this set. For example, a board wipe that gives you some sort of advantage when you cast it, if you meet the conditions or build around it. Shatter the Sky is an example. In blue, you have Time Wipe giving you the card draw of returning a creature to your hand or slash the ranks if you can build around it. In New Capenna, we have Depopulate. A four mana board wipe is just great, but each player who controls a multicolored creature draws a card, then destroy all creatures. Wait, if I need to have a multicolored creature, does that mean this is mono white card draw? It's a normal effect anyways. Let's go on to another normal effect, which is ETB draw a card. There's a couple in this set. I really like Inspiring Overseer. Two and a white for two one flying angel cleric. When Inspired Overseer enters the battlefield, you gain one life and draw a card. I really like these cantripping creatures, and I say that this is a normal effect, but this is actually surprisingly new. We only got the draw dwarf and the draw dog in more recent sets. But in New Capenna, we also got a draw angel, Sanctuary Warden. Four white white for a five five flyer. When it enters the battlefield, it gets two shield counters. And when it enters the battlefield or attacks, you can remove a shield counter to draw a card and make a one one citizen. So that means that this has ETB draw a card, make a 1-1. One, one. That's pretty good. But six mana means that you're going to want angels or tokens or counters or some sort of other synergy. It doesn't really like give us the card draw that we want as we're developing our board. Now, of course, there's even more card draw. Let's talk about the overcosted awkward group hug card draw. Skycrier is a bird citizen and you got to activate four for you and target opponent to each draw card. Yeah, Skycrier is too much for an activated ability. I am a fan of Master of Ceremonies, three and a white for a three, four Rhino Druid. At the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent chooses money, friends, or secrets. If you choose money, you guys both get a treasure. If you choose friends, you both get a little friend citizen. Or if you choose secrets, then you both draw a card. This is the awkward group hug stage where you could theoretically play this and never draw a card, but someone's gonna take you up on it, right? Now, let's get to the group hug card that I actually like a lot. Tenuous Truce is one and a white for an enchantment aura, enchant opponent. Couldn't just make this a curse, could you? Okay, okay. At the beginning of enchanted opponents end step, you and that player each draw a card. That's great, you know? This is having you draw an extra card every turn and hopefully make a friend along the way. And if you want to get rid of this, well, this is a tenuous truce because when you attack a enchanted opponent or a planeswalker they control or when they attack you, you gotta sacrifice tenuous truce. So you really have to make sure that you're friends. This is political and fun and it could be powerful card draw in white. You know, I always thought that white would draw cards based on bringing more creatures to the table. That's why I've always liked Mentor of the Meek or Welcoming Vampire, but Rumor Gatherer is sort of expanding this role a little bit and I love it. Rumor Gatherer is one white white for a 2-1 elf wizard with alliance. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, scry one. If this is the second time this ability has resolved this turn, draw a card instead. So every second creature you cast every turn, you get to draw a card. And by the way, just the scry is fine. You do have to jump through some hoops to trigger this. This isn't just like play a creature, draw a card. I mean, compared to green, like this is not a beast whisperer, but it's pretty good in white. And I think there are a lot of decks that can use this. I love when it's just a creature enters the battlefield. So throwing a couple tokens out there could have you drawing a card. I like that. All right, next we're getting into some weird card draw. I wanna talk about Halo Fountain. Two and a white for an artifact. White, tap, untap, a tapped creature you control, create a 1-1 one, one citizen. White, white, tap, untap, two tapped creatures you control, draw a card. That's that draw card thing we're looking at. White, 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 white. <laughs> untap 15 creatures you control, you win the game. Look, I don't think Halo Fountain is that good. Untapping a creature is a pretty big drawback. It's tricky to always have those conditions met and you're investing a lot of mana for your first piece of card draw. 
I mean, you can build around it, like untapping mana dorks or other untappers. Like there are combos that you can set up with this card. But if you want just like creatures and card draw, there's like better things out there. Like just from recent sets, we have Wedding Announcement makes creatures, helps us draw cards, or Court of Grace makes creatures, helps us draw cards. I like both of those better. And starting off, like the price tag on Halo Fountain is pretty high for pre-order and some of these cards are really cheap. So I don't know, I don't think it's there. Of course, I can't criticize you if you wanna play the incredibly amazing art, the blinged out version, and going for this crazy win condition of untapping 15 creatures, that I am on board for. Let's get back to the really solid card draw we have in white. Uh, let's talk about Benny Brax Zoologist. Three and a white for a three two elf druid, it has Convoke. So this could very easily just cost you a white mana to play this card. And at the beginning of each end step, if you created a token this turn, draw a card. Oh, that's great. There's so many white cards out there that can just throw a token onto the battlefield and on your opponent's turns too. So you could be drawing multiple cards a turn. I don't think it's that hard to make a token. Next, we have Smuggler Share. Two and a white for an enchantment. At the beginning of each end step, draw a card for each opponent who drew two or more cards this turn, then create a treasure token for each opponent who had two or more lands enter the battlefield under their control this turn. This is, I think, perfectly designed white card draw. It's not over the top, but it speaks to white's color identity of, look, we're just here to be fair. You know, if you're gonna go crazy over there, we're just gonna like be fair and equal everything out. So I really like Smuggler Share. It also has little Trash Bandit raccoon friends uh, siphoning liquor. I know it's Halo, but siphoning off barrels, which means that the art is fantastic and this card just, just is great. It's just great. And finally, we have a very interesting and innovative tax effect that'll help you draw cards. It's Aerial Extortionist. Three white white for a four three flying bird soldier. When it enters the battlefield or deals combat damage to a player, exile up to one target non-land permanent. Now, these aren't exiled forever. For as long as it's exiled, its owner may cast it. But whenever another player casts a spell from anywhere other than their hand, draw a card. Okay, so that means if they're casting things from the command zone or their graveyard or the cards that you exiled with Aerial Extortionist. Uh, that's just great. So this basically, think of it as bounce. It's like it bounces it back to its hand, but when they play it again, you get to draw a card. And this can just keep getting that bounce value, not only on Enter the Battlefield, but over and over again with every smash that you get. Also, this is just gonna gain incidental value as your opponents, you know, cascade or play cards for free or they're from their command zone or their graveyard because people in commander play spells from all over the place, not just the traditional cards from their hand. So I really like the direction that this has gone. So let's review in the set, white can draw like cards in 11 different ways. And many of these are relevant. Some of them are easy to dismiss and that's totally fine. But a lot of these can find their place in different niches, even the clunky political group hug ones, like people are gonna play them. So this is fantastic. This is white exploring different ways that it can draw cards, whether it's, you know, being political and group huggy or keeping the playing field even or taxing your opponents for doing crazy stuff. I also think that these feel very white and I like that. I like New Capenna and I hope you like it too. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you want to pick up new Capenna cards, go ahead and head on over to Cool Stuff Inc. They sponsor the Jumbo Commander YouTube channel. And if you use the coupon code JUMBO5, you'll save 5% off your order of all of these great white staples over at Cool Stuff Inc. I also want to thank my patrons. They're amazing. They support me every single day. Thank you patrons for keeping Jumbo Commander running. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Have a good one. Bye-bye.